Hello, and welcome to the TRIO Success Strategy Series. My name is Stacey Edlund, and I am the TRIO Student Success Navigator. I designed these presentations with the top skills necessary to succeed at school, at work, and in your personal life. They are very short presentations, but can have a big impact if you choose to really engage with the information. We can help you learn the information and share the tools, but it's really up to you to implement them into your life to help you reach your goals. You can see on the screen here all the different areas that I help students with, and if you would like help in any of these areas, you can book an appointment with me. You can find my booking link on the Riverland website under the Student Services tab and then on our TRIO page. All right, let's get into the presentation. Whenever you're trying to reach a big goal, it's really, really important that you understand why. Now, in our culture, you often hear people talk about wanting, you know, fancy sports cars or the biggest houses or want to travel around the world. But that's not everybody's goal. That might not even be your goal. You might have a very different reason why you're trying to earn a college degree and get that dream job that you've always wanted. So today we're going to talk about an exercise called your perfect day. And this exercise can really help you drill down to the core of the feelings you want to have in your life, which is, which is where you can find your why. So what is the perfect day exercise? It's an exercise in which you take some time to visualize your perfect day. And we're not just talking a couple of minutes, but we're going to dig in deep and we're going to really visualize every aspect of your perfect day. And why do you want to do this? Again, when you can picture your perfect day, you can see what you're working towards. When you have your why, which can help with moving forward and intention and motivation, are two key pieces to achieving your goals. And how? How do we do the perfect day exercise? So the first thing you're going to do is get yourself nice and comfortable in a quiet space where you can be undisturbed for, for a little while, a space where you can like be free from distractions and really just get into your mind and get into the flow of what your perfect day might look like. Once you're settled in, you're comfortable, you're free from distractions, including your phone, put it away for a little bit. <laughs> this is what you're going to do. So you're going to picture that the alarm clock goes off in the morning and you're waking up in your bedroom. Right from that very moment, what does your life look like? What does your bedroom look like? What kind of bed are you sleeping in? Who is next to you, if anybody? Is there a dog laying at the foot of the bed or maybe a cat curled up to next to you? What does your morning look like if you, if you turn off your alarm and open your eyes and you're like, wow, I just woke up and my life could not be more perfect? What does that look like? Then you're going to continue to move throughout your day. You got out of bed, maybe you went and showered, maybe you got some coffee and some breakfast. What does it all look like? What does your shower look like? Do you have a master bath off of your bedroom? Or maybe that's not a big deal to you at all. When you go to the kitchen, what kind of coffee brewer do you have? What kind of food are you eating? What does your kitchen look like? You're literally going to drill down to those very deep details. And you want to get really, really specific. And it's going to take some time, but this will be worth it because when you get that specific and you go through your absolute perfect day, you're going to understand those feelings that you want to feel, which are really going to be your why. As you go through this exercise, you could do a couple of things. You could journal, so you could be writing it down in a journal, like, okay, I woke up, this is what my life looks like, next step, next step, next step, now I'm going off to work. Where am I going to work? What job am I doing? Um, who am I working with? All of that information. And uh, now I'm coming home from work, or maybe you work from home, so coming home from work is just walking out of your office back into the living room. Who's there? What do you do in the evenings? What kind of hobbies do you have? Um, who's with you? All of that, every single little detail from the moment you turn off your alarm in the morning to the moment your head hits the pillow at night. Um, you could create a vision board or you can just sit and think about it in your mind. 
So this slide here says dream big and create your own story. And I think this is a really huge component. Like I mentioned at the very beginning of this presentation, your dream, your dream life, your why does not have to be what the typical American dream is but it also could be if you want. It's going to be different for every person. And that's why when you take the time to move throughout the day, picture your perfect day, you're going to understand the life that you want to create. And you do have the power to create a life of your dreams. If you're moving, if you're moving forward with your why in mind, and that intention and that motivation and that dedication to creating your perfect life. And are you feeling resistance to this? I think it's really important. You might be watching this and going, I don't know why Stacy's having us do this. This is a dumb exercise. If you're feeling resistance to it, why? Why are you feeling resistance? Is it because you feel like your dreams are too big? Is it because you've just never taken the time to think about that far into the future? Any of those things can cause some of that resistance. Try to break through that. Try to like push that to the side, do the exercise, and remember your why and how you want to feel. Doing this exercise is going to help you develop that inner motivation to keep going when times get tough. So take a few minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes. This might take a little while to really sit and envision your perfect day. And I really think it's going to help you understand your motivation and help you when the times, when times get tough and you want to quit. Thinking back on this exercise can really help keep you going. I hope that you found this helpful. And if you want any help with this exercise, let me know. I'd be happy to help you walk through it. And don't forget, if you are a student who is working with me on the weekly check-ins, don't forget to do your weekly check-in form and um, let me know how I can help. Thanks so much. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.